mind. There took place a curious chase through meadow, tree, and flower, till at last they ended up right at the witch's tower. Now poor Mary and the librarian, a prisoner she'll stay until the witch is happy and lets Marion go away. Oh my goodness! Look at all the snow in here, and it's not even snowing outside anymore. It snowed last night, but Kerfumbly got a new snowblower, and every time she walks beneath my window, she blows snow in here. Oh! See what I mean? Oh, fiddlesticks! What's the matter, Kerfumbly? I just can't make this machine work. She's been saying that all day long. You know, sometimes machines really do give us problems, but most of the time machines are helpful. Well, for example, when it snows, we get those big snow plows out, and the machines help us clear the streets. You know, that might be a very good story to get kerfumbly. We'll take some snow. Oh, it's cold. And put it in the machine. Now we need to get a machine. And here's the machine you see every time it snows. A big snow plow. Let's put that in there. Turn the machine on. And it's Katie and the Big Snow by Virginia Lee Burton. Katie was a beautiful red crawler tractor. She was very big and very strong, and she could do a lot of things. Katie had a bulldozer to push dirt around with. Katie also had a snow plow to plow snow with. Katie belonged to the highway department of the city of Geopolis. The highway department repaired the roads in the summer and kept them clear of snow in the winter, so traffic could run in and out and around the city. All summer, Katie worked on the roads with her bulldozer. Katie liked to work. The harder and tougher the job, the better she liked it. Once, when a steamroller fell in the pond, Katie pulled it out. The highway department was very proud of her. They used to say, "Nothing can stop her." When winter came, they put snow plows on the big trucks, and changed Katie's bulldozer for her snow plow. But Katie was so big and strong, she had to stay at home because there was not enough snow for her to plow. Then, early one morning, it started to drizzle. The drizzle turned into rain. The rain turned into snow. By noon, it was four inches deep. The highway department sent out the truck plows. By afternoon, the snow was ten inches deep and still coming down. Looks like a big snow, they said at the highway department, and they sent Katie out. A strong wind came up, and drifts began to form: one foot, two feet, three feet, five feet. The snow reached the first story windows. The second story windows, and then it stopped. One by one, the truck snow plows broke down. The roads were blocked. No traffic could move. The schools, the stores, the factories were closed. The railroad station and the airport were snowed in. The mail couldn't go through. The police couldn't protect the city. The telephone and power lines were down. The doctor couldn't get his patient to the hospital. The fire department was helpless. Everyone 
and everything was stopped except Katie. The city of Geopolis was covered with a thick blanket of snow. Then slowly and steadily, Katie started to plow out the city. Help, called the chief of police. Help us to get out to protect the city. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. So Katie plowed out the center of the city. Help, called out the postmaster. Help us get the mail through. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. So Katie plowed down to the railway station. Help! Help! called out the telephone company and the electric company. The poles are down somewhere in East Geopolis. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. So Katie plowed out the roads to East Geopolis. Help! called out the superintendent of the water department. There's a break in the water main somewhere in North Geopolis. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. And she plowed out the roads to North Geopolis. Help! Emergency! called out the doctor. Help me get this patient to the hospital way out in West Geopolis. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. So Katie plowed out the roads to the hospital. Help! 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 called out the fire chief. There's a three-alarm fire way out in South Geopolis. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. So Katie plowed out the roads to the fire in South Geopolis. On the way back, a plane signaled for help. The airport was snowed in. Katie was beginning to get a little tired, but she wouldn't stop. Not Katie. Sure, said Katie, follow me with the chug, 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 I'll set you free. She hurried over to the airport and plowed out the runways so the airplane could land safely. After she had plowed the airplane runway, she started home. And the police could protect the city. The mail got on the train. The telephone and electricity were on. The water department had repaired the main. The doctor had saved his patient. The fire department got through. The broken down truck plow started home. Thanks, Katie, thanks to you. Katie finished up the side streets so traffic could move in and out and around the city. Then she went home to rest. Then and only then did Katie stop. Katie was a very helpful machine, wasn't she? She helped all those people in that town. Maybe when Kerfumbly hears this story, she'll like machines a little better. Help me call her, will you? Don't forget to start with your left hand. Left and right and Zachary Zoo, here's a story just for you. Oh, Kerfumbly, what happened to you? Oh, that snowblower blew snow all over me. Oh, Marion, I just can't work machines very well. I'm glad you called me in for a story. Yeah, well, here it is. <gasps> oh, Katie and the big snow. Oh, was there a big snowstorm in this story? There was. Did the roads get all filled in with snow? Oh, they did. And were the policemen snowed in? They were. And the firemen, were they snowed in, too? Oh, dear. Well, then, 
Who cleared away all the snow so that they could open up the streets? Katie? Well, was Katie a witch? No. Let me see. Katie cleared away all the snow. Oh, was Katie a snowplow? Oh, yes. Oh, I've got to read this story for myself. Oh, but I can't let Marion go yet. I want another story. Oh, now what will I tell her to keep her here? Oh, oh I know. I'll put a magic spell on this book. Here goes. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Oh, I hope this works. <laughs> uh, Marion? <laughs> you know, this uh, looks like a very good story about a snowplow. But you know how much trouble I've been having with my little snow blower. Why, well, I'm almost afraid to open this book in case something goes wrong. Don't be silly, Kerfumly. It's just a book. What could go wrong? Well, all right. <laughs> Wait, now. It didn't do that when I opened it up. Let me try, okay? <laughs> oh, well, my, my, Marion. I guess you'll have to find another story for me. Oh, Kerfumbly, I was hoping you'd like that snow story. Oh, I did like the snow. In fact... Let's have another snow story, but without a snow plow or other machines. Let's just have a quiet snow story. A quiet snow story. Do you think you could find one like that? Good, I'll meet you here next time. Once upon a time, a witch loved stories galore. And greedy as she was, she wanted more and more. When she saw that the librarian had stories of all kinds, she said... I'll capture you, all your stories will be mine. There took place a curious chase through meadow, tree, and flower, till at last they ended up right at the witch's tower. Now poor Marion the librarian, a prisoner she'll stay, until the witch is happy and lets Marion go away. To see the daily STS broadcast schedule,